Well, this is the third session of our Divine Truth uh, Frequently Asked Questions series. And in this session, we're going to cover uh, a lot more information uh, that we've been covering over the last two sessions as well. The, remember in the first session, we covered the basics about Divine Truth, what it is, and the, the fact that it's God's truth. And also we covered some basic questions about Divine Truth itself in comparison to p facing personal truth. In this session, uh, or in the, in the session after that, we also discussed the first seven qualities of divine truth. In the first session, we introduced those qualities, and then in the second session, we discussed the first seven qualities in two facets. The first facet was what is the quality or attribute of divine truth, and then what it looks like in our personal life if we really feel it. In this particular session, we're going to cover the next seven questions about divine truth. So questions from, or, or qualities from eight to 14 of, that we first introduced in the first session. And we're going to look at the two facets again of these, eight, these seven qualities in that we're going to look at what the quality is and also what the expression of it looks like if we feel it in our day-to-day -day lives. So they're the primary things we're going to do in this session. Thanks for your time in, in joining myself and Mary. Myself and Mary are going to be doing this. And uh, we're down in New South Wales at the moment. So it's a different backdrop, uh, as you can see. <laughs> and uh, and we're, we'll be basically covering these, hopefully we'll cover the, the 14 questions that we want to cover today. Thanks, darling. Thank you. <laughs>